एवरीवन दिस इज ओम फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एज वी नो सिविल सेंटर इज कॉन्टिन्यूसली वर्किंग विद द विजन टू गाइड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड प्रोफेशनल्स एंड फॉर दैट वी कीप मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड सो वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे so today we are going to learn how you can export your sketchup model in fbx format now the question is why is it needed because your lumion software that is your rendering software will accept only the fbx format so first of all you will have to compare your model with your reference image so in my previous videos i have already explained why reference image is needed and how to select the reference images and in this video we will learn how you can simply export your model so first of all you will have to check all the elements of your model because in lumion it will detect the colors and the textures of the model so you will have to make sure that wherever you are using the iron bars make sure that all the bars are provided with the same kind of material because if it will not be provided in such a way then you will have to change them individually so it will save a lot of your time if you are providing same material to similar kind of components like over here we have to use the aluminium then we are providing the same material to all the places where we are using the aluminium or if you have to provide the similar kind of class then you will make sure that in your sketchup model you are working with the same type of class that is the material assigned to all the classes is same so this way it will help you to save your time so suppose i am finding it a little fishy that this glass is dissimilar to other classes so i will simply provide the material to it and for that i am using the dropper tool and the paint bucket tool but now that i know that this glass is perfectly fine over here why so because if i am selecting this one then all other classes are being selected that means that in my sketchup model i have used the components so if you will like select one of the component then all the components will change accordingly okay so i am sure over here that all the classes have been provided with the same kind of material similarly if you go for the handrails on the stairs then you will see that these handrails are provided with the same material as we have provided for the gate or the other balcony materials so all the iron bars are provided with the same kind of material over here on the left you can see we are using a different kind of glass and that's because that glass is different in our reference image so this way you will have to keep checking your model and once you are ready then you can simply go to file and from there choose export and click on 3d model so this will just give you an option to export your model let's revise this again so you can see over here we have to go to file export 3d model and now i will just locate where i have to save my fbx format so i will just go to the desired folder and there i will simply select and save it so all you have to do is to click on export and you can also choose multiple options from here but right now i want to export it in fbx format so i will start with this one so just click on export and within a minute it will be exported so this is how you can simply export your sketchup model now we will go to the file and there we will check whether it has been exported properly or not you can also compare the sketchup entities and the fbx entities so you can see the instances and the groups have been ignored in the fbx entities okay now i will go to the folder and from there i will simply see whether my folder has the fbx format saved in it or not so 
let's open the folder now so you can see over here i have my fbx format ready and i can simply import that in my lumion and start the rendering from there so that will be covered in the next video today we will keep it till here so guys that was all for today if you want more such informative videos then you can visit our youtube channel as well as you can also visit our facebook page where you will find a number of youtube videos and the informative posts related to our live online classes so if you want to register for our live online classes then you can simply go to the link given in the description all you have to do is to click on that link and it will open up a google form for you you have to just fill your details over here and i will personally give you a call and i will guide you how to proceed to join our live classes see you in the next video thank you